Kira kira hara mai, greetings and welcome. I am Guru and we are back in the Cascade Hills with my All Hearts Challenge being fought out by my community. The last one's out. It's day 20 something or something. We're not too sure. They just blend into one. We have something like 14 play cards to go. But a lot of these are interwoven with infestation, so they're going to be tough to take out. We recently, in our last episode, managed to get ourselves the uh, network... Uh, signal booster which gets us two more empty outpost slots so while we're short on two beds I think we can live with having two less beds um, and what I'm thinking is that we will try and get another fuel outpost and another materials outpost uh, or perhaps another hmm no perhaps another ammo outpost because we can grow food and turn that into fuel so for these outposts, where I'm thinking is this one here, where it, uh, the zombies can't get to it. But potentially we could move it closer to these two, because th this one can be infested. So we've got, um, I believe we've got outpost defenses already in place for that. Uh, nope. We don't have enough parts, which is problematic. We've also got an infestation across the road from us and siege site slowly building in strength so i don't want that screamer to see me yeah we've got our hands full that's for sure so i think i think definitely having another uh, material site where we don't have to worry about it being infested is a good move and then i'm thinking perhaps somewhere over here further down here we'll grab one of these ammo out uh ammo outposts and we will protect it with outpost defenses so that it doesn't get taken because we're going to need a lot of ammo for this uh for this mission so yeah i mean that can be taken as well there's a lot that can be taken we're just going to have to you know keep our eye out for it and um, i suppose we could always take jewies but then again you know we're having to defend so many outposts it's it's going to be a challenge so first things first we can't have an infestation just sitting across the road from us. So we've got a Raiders Uzi. That shouldn't be that should make pretty short work of them. In terms of ammo, we haven't got a heck of a lot. And we're now out of water. Let's turn that on briefly. And let's also cook up some more fuel. And then I think Ken's been busy. Ken's been busy. Daylight's coming up. So he's probably got this one mission in him. And then we will be on to um, someone else to do the outpost runs. Well, this is not the best gun. <laughs> it's got uh, good firepower, but um, not single, no single shots. So it's expensive. Hey there, trouble. All right, but the job is done. We got some influence for that. We also need to get some parts and quickly. So have we got a salvage furnace? We do. So let's get into that. I don't think I was going to do this on screen, but I think we're just going to have to. Whoops, wrong button. This will impact greatly on our um, on our fuel as well. So we want to get this done. Only two gladii. Don't mind a parang, but we'll only keep the best. Uh, size mallet, we'll trash that. Well, we don't have tons and tons, but that gives us 528. That's not too bad. And then we've got um, only two of those. Even though they're pretty trashed. Like crossbow, Echo 1. Hunting crossbow, we don't need that. Uh, M1 Hunter's Model 70, 
That's for the scrap heap. Keep the Dillinger. Big Hank. We got two Dillingers. We'll keep two Dillingers. Oh, that's a good gun. One day we'll get that fixed. Uh, fake AK? Sure, we'll hold on to that. Not bad. Okay, let's get that replaced. I need that anymore. And we will chuck in... Handgun ammo press. And turn on our, turn on our white noise generator because we are making a ton of noise at the moment. Right, good stuff. Put this stuff away and ready our next person. You might be Dennis. Probably not though. Dorothy. Dorothy could get busy. Okay. Geez, we just don't have a lot of ammo at all, do we? we take what we've got. Doing it on the cheap. That's suppressed, yes. Nice. Can get her a better hand weapon than that. Satellite broadcast updated. Great. And morale is cheerful, so we're all good. Grab some more shotgun ammo. And we'll grab a we got any fire or have we used it all we've used it all we'll take our we'll take our soda can bombs all right so a bit of prep i'm gonna swing up up here and we're going to fortify this place and even though this outpost is like way out in the middle of the nowhere the benefit of it is that it's in a site which I don't believe the zombies can infest it. So therefore it won't need defending. Uh, if we upgrade it, that will actually keep our materials on point. Now we could go for leads, uh, concrete silos, but I think they're guarded by three or four plague hearts, and so that's probably a little out of reach for now. But seeing as we've got these outposts, it would be remiss of us to push on ahead without already setting those up because, you know, we need them to contribute. We worked hard for those. It cost 500, 500 influence just to buy the signal booster. And seeing as we've got the influence, we should spend it. Because if there's one thing I like to do, it's spend my influence. Okay, we've got locate materials, radio command back available should we need it. You can see that's how close it got, that we we're actually using radio commands to find supplies and resources. That's why, you know, even just halving the deficit for some time, go from minus two materials per day to minus one, we'll take the heat off having to scavenge, and we can concentrate on pushing back against the play cards. Because we do need to do that. Okay. Whoop. There's more than one. Well, I don't usually like killing ferals with vehicles, but need must. And to be fair, this character probably couldn't handle two, three ferals. We should set up an outpost here. We should, and we're going to. We'll grab a gas can if we've got one. Oh, we do not have a lot. Of influence. We're all set here on the new outpost. And we have I a gas can. See the potential for improving this place. We do not. Disappointing. Never mind. Yeah, it looks really bad on the map, but I don't think it can be infested, so we will not have to defend it. And that's the whole point. This is purely a resource uh, 
purely a resource outpost, not a defense outpost. It's going to do nothing for us but protect us. Uh, right, so we need some influence, which uh, we could do by completing missions or taking out infestations. Don't have quite enough to inf influence to set up any more outposts, but we can get it from these infestations. Although we are running low on fuel. So if we take out that siege site, then there's another one over here. Oof. We can take out as well. Be tough to take out. Oh, well, all the hearts are awake anyway, so we don't have to worry about waking any hearts. That's the whole point of this playthrough. Can we defeat the lethal zone after after awakening all the hearts before we uh, settle our first base? Right, so we have been spinning up large, I can tell, in order to do the things that we want and get to this stage to improve our economy. Capex. Capex is what it's taken. Boy, we are really starting to run on gas. And the car's making a few clunky sounds. Well, it's hissing a bit. Really could do with another vehicle, but it's not like we could afford to power another vehicle anyway. Uh, we could try and trade with a um, with an enclave for, for gas, but we drive all the way there and they have got no gas for sale. We'll be in trouble. It's not like we've got a lot of influence anyway. Right. I think we've got enough to get up here and get home, so let's do it. Because we can't afford to waste anything here. So we drop some ammo. We might be able to get it. All right. That didn't give us that much. It only gave us about 50 influence, but... See if we can get that ammo. It's probably only a few rounds, but to be honest, we've got 19 9 mil rounds. So we need it. And if we can get it for free, which is what it looks like, then yay. Nine rounds. There we go. Nine 9 mil rounds. As far as the count, I would laugh. Right, I think we got away with this. Oop. Maybe not. No point rushing things at this stage. Not with a fairly fresh survivor. Here we go. Now we really do need to get some gas to put it in this thing. It's unfortunately going to cost me all the fuel that I'm grow that I'm actually creating at the moment, which will leave very little for any fuel bombs. So we're going to have to be pretty easy on the on the resources. We've got two in the back. 
I forgot. I'm somehow onto it by mistake. Here we go. Well, that makes me happy. So, can we tell? We probably need about 300 influence to set up over here. And we've got 197. We could do Stephanie's brother in blue. That would be going into a police station. If this is nearby one, then we're all good. Let's try that. Are we actually using Stephanie? No, we're using Dorothy. Who knows, maybe we will be getting a house after all if we find someone recruitable. Alright. Stephanie, who is my plumber? I can't forget about this. Hmm. Oops, sounds nasty. If I hear a door slam open, we're going to be on the go. Heads up, freak nearby. Get down. Uh, it seems like a horde has wandered up to our base. Oh, yeah. One of my survivors is being bitten. Yes, well, that can happen at any point, can't it? Carrying a little bit of an injury from something. I didn't even see myself get hit. Not sure what that's about. Ah, we do have fuel bombs. We must have been making those. Good stuff. Either that or I just missed them when I was looking earlier. That's entirely possible. Is a survivor in need? Very well. What's our situation with this? Make some nine mil for five. Start practicing with swing shots. Alright. Now I'm going to keep using this gun. Fantastic. Because I don't like it. Oh wow, two bottles of strong painkillers. That is a good find. A good find. Alright, let's see what this guy's about. scream out okay pretty accurate this gun just hasn't got a scope scope oh some more shotgun shells that's all good container pile hopefully we don't have to go too far aha perfect Alright, we'll grab some fire for this. If we can get away with not using fire, we'll do that. But we might have to. Okay, I am going to swap out now. My gun of choice. In case we get into trouble with ferals, we're going to take some of those. All right, fella, let's go. Now, I think this mission has glitched out on me before. Where we go there and the infestation doesn't exist. Where are all these screamers coming from? Oh, influence. Oh, dear. This way, fella. 
Oh, he's gonna fight them. Just got me bit, you jerk. Great start. Never mind. Take care of that and we'll. Oh, we just maxed up in cardio, so I guess we got something from that. And we'll go with marathon. There's a juggernaut nearby. Right. Won't grab any more ammo because I'll probably just waste it. Let's go get this done. Alright, dude. Hop in. We don't have a door, which is making me a little bit nervous, but we don't have tons of repair kits either. We've got one in the back of the car and one in our supply locker, and that's about it. We can make more, because at one point, that was the difference between us and losing the game, was a toolkit. Survived for several episodes without a toolkit. I guess this is the place, huh? Did he jump out? Yep, he sure did. I'm not sure I would have done that, but... Professional suppressor will take. Swing and a miss. We're still on the fight though. We're still on the fight. There we go. 60 influence for that one. You just gotta stay strong. We didn't take any fire. Um. Yeah, that didn't take long. Okay. What have you got for us? Cool. <laughs> what have you got for us? Well, we've now got enough influence to uh to set up our outpost. Fight the good fight, okay? And it took out a siege site, so, hey, job done. Uh, right, this is on the way, so let's do it. In fact, this is her main mission. Ken has recovered from fatigue, excellent. Ken's one of my most important members. Is our community driver. Uh -huh. Alright, so clearly we've got our minds going on. Well, we've got to be careful because they can kill you. Alright. 
Something's glowing in here. Let's have a look. I am super glad to find this. This will help a lot. 240 influence. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, hello. Nice work. Now, so that's our yeah, food outpost. Cindy mines for 37 minutes. That's the only one where we've got mines set up at the moment. Do with some more ammo, I think. So even though we're starting to run a little low on chemicals, we're s we can still afford to do that. We've got about th less than 30 chemicals now, though. So, not easy. Oof. I could kill this outpost if I wanted to. <laughs> oh boy. Where's my head at? Arnwall gun shop. Yes. Although that one, I've had glitchy um, infestations where they occupy the site. But when you go to clear it, the infestation isn't there. So maybe we'll try the Arnwall gun site, even though it's kind of within fringe plague territory, so it won't have a particularly influential safe zone. It might not have that glitch. And it'll be very close to an infestation that we can take out fairly easily with the... Uh, Uh, with the outpost mines, should we choose to use them. So that's it there, eh? Okay. This one's probably easier, though. Right here, right now. Oh, shivers! Didn't see him coming. Spawning in. Find the counter? Yeah. Always. Be remaining. I wonder if we might borrow one of your sharpshooters for a bit. Maybe. Maybe I'm if sure. you've got the ammo. Now, where might the zombie be? Are they worth spawning in? Ah. In an unusual fashion. That's what I was going to say. And if they're spawning in when you're actually in the building, because they drop in from the from above you, they can sometimes materialize on the roof. Not this time. Well, time for me to move on. If you ever end up over in Trumbull, feel free to stop by. There we go. That looks pretty decent. Nice. I haven't searched some of these areas. Dead thumpers, one leg at a time. Um. Yeah, maybe. Sounds a sounds a bit frivolous, you know. Not when we've got play cards to take out. Mind you, even we might zoom up here and see what we can find. Yeah, none of those have been searched. So seeing as it's daylight, now's a good time to do it. Up 
after all. We came all this way onto this side of the map. We can't go back with a... Uh, well, it would be better to go back with a trunk full of loot. But pretty soon we'll need to hit another heart or two. But when you get the opportunity to set up two outposts and get your economy pumping even harder, you're going to do it, aren't you? You have to do it. Mark up with the door over there. Oh, you jerk. Always with the yelling. Alright, let's see what we can find. Apart from ferals. Now, you can often find things like chemicals, ethanol, which is stuff that we're going to need if we're going to keep crafting ammo, because I'd say we're probably going to run out of resources on the map. Alright, these are quite heavy. And a gas can. Having a look. Yeah. That horde might spoil the party. Good start. Good start. Keep that on us, actually. Hey, someone found some materials. That's what I like to see. That's positive. That's the power of positive morale, folks. One thing I was considering was replacing my leader. Because I've got a builder leader, but we're not even using anything that a builder leader would typically give us. Uh, not even using the building, but we do have a lounge, which we could upgrade. I think that's the trader. Starting to sound a bit growly, aren't they? Fair enough. And splashy. Okay, they can make all the noise they want. As long as they keep away from my car. Oops. Here we go. That's a lot of stuff. So these kims are Pretty much as good as material rucks for me. Ammo rucks. Because I have munitions. Okay, they've headed straight to my car. Which is annoying. Let's see, what are we carrying? Yeah, we're traveling heavy. Uh, they are starting to wander away now. Now, can we fit through this small gap? Didn't think so. It's all very sneaky. But unfortunately, it has to be that way. It's not too bad. 
You know, I'm thinking it might be worth coming back and having a go at this play cart. Which could mean moving a... Yeah. Because then we can move our... Food outpost to there, which is a bit more useful than in the middle of town. I mean, middle of town's kind of handy. Keeps their numbers down, that's for sure. But all the same. It's the fastest way back, probably this way. Oh, hello. As you were, sir, as you were. Not looking for trouble. Leghardt means there's no real security here. No, there is not. I think we'll head back and we'll grab our leader. We'll come back and smash that heart. Or at least give it a good going over. After all, survival of the fittest, and he's got some pretty good cardio. Do what damage we can and get out if we need to. The worst thing we could do is leave our vehicle all the way over there. Having said that, it costs so much to get over there and get back anyway. It's the one kind of downside with the more and more bases, its location, it's... Uh, it's a long drive back. Yeah, I like my plan. I think it's going to work. I think we've got the materials. We've got some nades. We've got some fire bombs got some stims we've got plenty of strong painkillers so if any time to take on a heart and wipe it out it's it's now but we uh we'll want to fix our vehicle first but we'll do that oops Ooh, I'm stuck. All right. Hey guys, I'm home. Good job, Stephanie. Good job. Put your feet up. Grab yourself a big gun. Big enough. All right, let's grab Alan. Marathon scouting, endurance, sharpshooting, pathology. Maybe we choose Dennis, our musician. Powerhouse discipline, striking. Yeah, we'll choose Dennis. The sole remaining musician in our community. It's already got the shovel ready to go. Can we do better than a shovel? Probably not. I seem to remember... Uh, can't quite carry as much as you think he could. Alright, we're not going to skimp on those. Skimp on those. Grab some of those. Um, grab our sawn off. Boom. And that's... We'll just see whether we've, that is the best weapon we can take. Repair 81, repair 18. So that's significantly better. I do like the Canabo. But we'll use this. Shovel should be fine. And there we go. Let's get to it. Dun -dun -dun. Come on, Dennis. We're all counting on you. Uh, better check our gardens are growing. 
Nice. And it's still hard at it. Got a... Oh, we should probably put some uh, first aid kits in the back. Just in case, you know, we almost take the heart out, but all we need to do is, you know, replenish our health completely. Crap to haul around. Then uh, these are what we would want. Alright, that ought to be fading. So let's get the show on the road. Chuck in a toolkit because you don't want to be stuck out on the other side of the map should things go wrong. Alright, Dennis, let's do it. Boom de rum. Oof, a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous. It's okay to be a bit nervous going in against a Blackheart. Probably better to be nervous than complacent. Quite nervous. There is not a lot of margin for error. Uh, which way do we want to go? This way. Not a lot of margin for error. Dennis, who is, um, you know, has the unfortunate luck to be a musician and therefore regarded as being more or less expendable in the community. He's usually the first one I throw in against the play card to soften it up. Take it out if you can, card. but even just the softening up at this stage will probably be enough. Is that a shortcut up there? Probably is. Well, that's okay. Choir of Screamers. Alright. Yeah, we just got to keep chiseling away at the play carts. As the resources dwindle now. This is probably not as bad a spot as I thought it might have been. long way to run but that lot will come flying in you know what we're just gonna pop this right now are we okay time to get her done Hearts pounding now. Pounding hearts with a pounding heart. Yep, yeah, here's our first feral. See if we can draw the feral into the house. So we'll go with a nade. Fire in the hole. Follow it up with. One more of that, do you? Bad. I'm sorry. Are you hurting? We'll have some more. That's my last one. Fucking thing should learn how to fight. We'll take it. Pretty effective. Anyone Have explosives. We'll use them. Morale empowered. 
I'd be pretty happy too. In fact, this is how gung ho he is. Time to face the music. Two of the plan. Secure this place. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, the survivor's down there. Okay, we can take that. So here's the thing. So we've got chunks. Level one. Um, and I don't think it's even got the incendiary mines for 16 minutes. Wow. We're done with that. We're done with the middle of town. We'll just keep trying to infest it. And we got this place now. Say hello to your new outpost. And with a little more effort, this place could really shine. Sure could. I guess it's kind of useful. All seeds. That's okay. We have just the things you use those on. Just the facilities. Yeah, can't do it. Which are trucking away quite nicely, to be honest. Okay. So, um, might just check the sturdy bird out, and then we'll check out the, um, Survivor activity at the play cart we just left behind. If we're saving someone, I'm going to count that as I was saving them. So that was interesting about, you know, a good hit and then sort of two to three mines, uh, grenades, sorry, and a couple fuel bombs were effective enough. Wow, really? We will come back to that sort of stuff. That guy's just minding my car. That in. That, check that. Ah, uh, we don't need those. Grab the other, other couple items because we need everything. I just dropped off a couple things I found while I was out. Good stuff. Keep it up. Empowered community. Um, we're not putting any of that in, are we? Put that in. All right. Actually, there's some stuff that we can just put in our enclave here, or we could try and take out another heart. I mean, that one's just sitting there, isn't it? Hmm. I just realized that I've got this outpost here, so I could, like, just put this stuff straight in here. Starting to get starting to get a little bit dark. That is damn heavy. Right. 
Let's see what this guy's about. I'm pretty sure I heard a feral down there, so we're ready for a fight. No, you don't. Day 22. Is hoping you don't have too much company. Let's see what we have here. Hope I'm not interrupting. Nope, sounds all good. We get the good stuff for starters. Mia. I have a nice blade that needs a new home. What does that mean? Trade with Mia for a blade. I got something you want, you got something I want. All right. I'm glad to hear it. Let me make you an offer. Sure, sounds good. Um, good seeing you. I got thanks. I ah, too slow. All right. Let Never mind. Uh, she's just going to run out there and wake them all up, isn't she? Right, come back for that stuff. Ooh, that looks shaky. Oh, she's got a good lead on them, though. There she goes. Let's not get caught up in all that. Hmm. That's a lot of Zs. This guy here is a pain. Blocking my exit. Not sure about going back in. I think it could get a bit messy. We'll give it a go. Yeah, I could like brawl my way in. Got powerhouse after all, but we've managed to get to this point without having to use too many resources. So we want to keep it that way if we can. Then it's all upside. All upside. Sometimes that's all you need to do. It runs on the board. Could have sworn I left this place in good shape. I'm 
feet. Oh, missed. Chat. So we got a scratch. And there's a juggernaut around somewhere. Somewhere close. Ah, oh, shit, yeah, there's. There were more than last time. This is getting bad. It's turning into a thing. I'm good with that. Let's go. I'm not sure that was worth it. Man, I'm out of gas. Waiting for the feral to jump me at my vehicle. Um, shouldn't have taken those in. Still, never mind, job done. Let's get these rucksacks back to base. I wonder if I'll ever get used to the smell around a plague heart. We are quite used to it. I wonder if we'll ever get used to not being around the smell of plague hearts. We're doing all right. We're chipping away. We are chipping away. Those grenades seemed quite effective. So we might keep an eye out for those if we can, uh, if we can purchase them, trade for them. And we'll consider moving to a different leader. Three handmade suppressors? That's keen. Someone must have put in a requisition order or something. It's a fair effort. So what did you do today? I made handmade suppressors. Really? Anything else? Nope, just handmade suppressors. Were they made by hand? Who's in the name? There we go. This, this challenge has been good. I've enjoyed it. I kind of feel like we may, in the arm wrestle against the zombies, their arm may now be under ours. That's a terrible metaphor. But you know what I mean. Good work. And for that, we'll even cure you of your infection. Yeah, Ken's, a, Ken's in good spirits. And why wouldn't he be? You just smashed the play cart and no one died. You cannot understate how important that is. So we'll put them into shop. What shall we give him? M1A? Pretty good. We give them the Kodiak. I'm with an M M18. It'll be just fine. Keep it up, and we just might live through this. We might. 
We might. Good stuff. Well, thank you so much for watching. We are making progress. We are making progress. Slowly pushing the undead back. Yeehaw. And uh, we've got just about enough materials to upgrade this. No, we need a bit more influence. And then we can, and then we're not losing materials anymore, which is amazing. Because at the moment, to get materials, I have to periodically come down to these guys and buy them out. But they have loads of materials. But we don't have loads of influence anymore. It's pretty hard to come by. Pretty hard to come by. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope to catch you for the next video. Bye for now.